scholars, I'm Mrs. Klein from Archway Scottsdale, and I want to welcome you to Virtual Athenaeum. Hi, Great Hearts boys and girls, it's your Athenaeum team, and we're here to tell you how much we miss you, and we want to sing a song for you to tell you that we miss you. So I'm Miss Sandra. And Mrs. Klein. I'm Mr. Fleming. I'm Mr. Gardner. I'm Miss Sims. I'm Miss Lyman. I'm Mrs. Sterling. I'm Mr. Page. I'm Mr. Anderson. I'm Miss Conforti. I'm Mrs. Barnhart. I'm Miss Maddie. I'm Mr. Honey Sanchez. I'm Miss Levesay. Take it away, Mr. Anderson. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, when I lay sleeping. I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Be when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. Yay! All right. Yay! Bye for you in August. Bye, miss everyone. You guys. Bye, guys. Bye. We miss you. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Maddie from Scottsdale Athenaeum, and I just wanted to come on here and say that I hope everyone is doing well at home, and we miss you guys so much, and I hope that you guys are staying safe and having fun, and I can't wait until we all get to see each other again. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about strawberries. I'm growing some strawberries right now, and some facts to know about strawberries are they're a very slow-growing plant. I planted these in September, and they're just now starting to bloom. They do grow all year long, but they do best in the summer and spring months. So the very first stage of growing a strawberry is going to be it's going to grow green leaves just like this and it'll stem out and wherever it lands it'll actually grow another plant. So you could plant one plant and get multiple strawberries. Now after they grow their green leaves they'll start to bloom white flowers just like this with a yellow center and from the yellow part a berry will start to grow. Now this berry is very small it hasn't grown yet but after a few days, it'll start to get bigger and it'll look like these. Now, if you notice about the berry that it has seeds on the outside, each berry can have up to 200 seeds on the outside. And something that's cool about strawberries is it's the only berry that has its seeds on the outside. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, all their seeds grow on the inside. So it's what sets strawberries apart. Now, it, these ones haven't turned red yet, but they'll turn red. And once they turn red, you can pick them and you can either eat them plain or you can make jam, you could freeze dry them. There's lots of ways to make strawberries. And the name strawberry actually came around because way, way back in the day, kids would pick them and they put them on straws like these and they would sell them as a straw of berries. Here's one more picture of how berries grow from the plant to the green berry to the red berry. That's pretty much what the cycle looks like. And that's pretty much it for today. I will get back to you guys when the berries turn red. They should be turning red soon. I hope that everyone's doing well and having a good time at home. See you later. This is Miss Maddie signing off for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Barnhart. 
and this is my assistant Kaya. Kaya. We are here to show you today some really fun exercises you can do at home, either inside or outside, that'll keep you going during this time right now. So our exercises are all based on animals. Yay! The first animal that we were doing was a duck. So we were crawling down, and we were flapping our little duck wings. Our next exercise that we're gonna do is called the bear. So with the bear, we get down on all fours, and you can keep your knees up off the air, and you can crawl like a bear, and you can crawl forward, sideways, oh. backwards, <laughs> circles. Yeah. So our next exercise is called the crab. Do you remember how we get into the crab? Um, I think so. So the crab, we're going to turn our hands backwards like this. We're going to pop our bodies up. And again, you can go backwards. You can go forwards. In a circle. Sideways. And you can even lift your crab up higher. You can also do this. So you actually don't like to... There you go. Get your little crab claws going. Except <laughs> Our next exercise is one of them that's based in Arizona. Let's do the scorpion. scorpion. Okay, so our scorpion, we're going to kind of start out like our bear. I'm going to let my mom do it because it's too short. <laughs> and then we're going to flip our scorpion over. And we're going to keep it moving and flip it over again. And we could go in circles, sideways, or backwards. Right? Just like, uh, like, just like bear and duck. It's lots of fun. But now it keeps I'm you try. moving and getting a lot of exercise. Go ahead, Kaya. It's <laughs> hard. <laughs> Good job. We're going to do the bunny hop. So in the bunny hop, you get down to a low spot. We're going to put our ears up in the air. I'm going to do this. And we're going to hop <laughs> like little bunnies. <laughs> And I made up one. Okay, what is your made up one? It's it's a, it's the same holiday, but it's called egg. Egg. Okay, so now she's gonna do the egg. And then you could wiggle because if someone hits the nest, they could wiggle. You could topple a little. You could even move like this. But we're dead. <laughs> Good job. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do. It'll keep you moving and get you a lot of exercise. So have fun with your moms and dads. And thank you guys for watching us today. Thank you, scholars, for joining us today at Virtual Athenaeum. Have a great day.